So now we're going to talk about painting the pages. And I already started and I painted this page right after I had made it the other day. And um, so I'm going to show you some examples of some things you can do. Let's turn the page. As you can see, I got some paint on this page when I had painted this one. And I don't worry about that. I don't worry that'll blend in and I'll probably cover it up. And even if it stays there, it's fine. So I put, put a little bit of paint on the page. This happens to be a Daniel Smith watercolor that I really, really like. And you don't need a whole lot. You need a wet brush. I like bigger ones. And you just start mushing it around. And that's how it's done. I try and get the whole page without having to squirt more paint on. So that page is done. I'm going to show you something else now that you can do. This is a liquid, golden fluid acrylics. These two are really the only kind of paints that I like to use on my pages. And other things can tend to be like cheap acrylics that you get at Michael's um, are matte and they make my pens act weird at the final stages. So I'm going to throw a little bit more paint on here because I want to show you a technique that you can try. This probably isn't the best color to do this technique with, but I can also lift this page up and get the edges like so. If I don't want. I'm not, as you can tell, I don't have too much water on my brush. If I have more water, it tends to see through those holes. So I just do it messy. All right, so now what you can do is take a paper towel and sponge it off. And I'm kind of twisting, and it kind of gives it a mottled effect. If this was a darker paint, it would be better. But, um, and you could see it better. But there's that option, and that option is great because it takes the water back off the page so that you can flip it and um, keep painting and at this point actually these two pages are pretty dry and I just painted them so I'm going to flip I'm going to show you a couple of other paints that are okay to paint with this pearlescent this is a um, a liquid acrylic again and usually with something like this I just dip my brush in this is all dried up, so this isn't going to work. This is going to be garbage. So one more time, throw some paint on the page. And I do this a lot. I just, I, I paint a whole entire spread one color because it will make all the pages cohesive that are all the facing pages. So you can... I don't put much effort into this part because at the end you don't really see too much of I'm grabbing just a little bit more water to make it spread so anyways you want to do some pages let them dry for maybe 10 minutes flip flip to the next page paint some more. You can paint your entire journal in one sitting or I usually just paint maybe six or eight pages at a time and be done with it. And I usually like watch TV in between. So there it is. Get all the pages painted in nice colors that aren't too light and not too dark and colors that you like and then you're ready for the next stage which is collage.